Hi there, let's talk about Clostridium difficile, or also known as C. diff. Now, C. diff is a highly contagious anaerobic gram-positive bacterium that can be extremely difficult to treat. There are different risk factors to developing C. diff. As you can see, the number one most common one we usually see is recent antibiotic use, but there's also, it's extremely contagious, and so if you've had exposure to someone's C. diff, it's easier to get that. As mentioned earlier, C. diff can be extremely difficult to treat. As you can see here, there's a few different kinds of treatments. A lot of times we'll use flagell and vancomycin. Sometimes you'll see both of them together. Uh, you have to use PO vancomycin. You can't use the IV. It won't work for C. diff. Also, another thing, probiotics are a great way to restore the normal, healthy gut flora, and so it's a great way to, to help prevent C. diff, especially if you are taking antibiotics or if you've been taking antibiotics. Now let's get right into the NCLEX tips that you've been waiting for. Tip one, C. diff requires contact precautions. This is extremely important. You're likely to get a test question about this at some point in your nursing career, whether it's on NCLEX or one of your nursing tests. Um, you cannot foam in and foam out and think that that's going to work. You have to wash your hands, wear your gloves, all that kind of stuff. So study up on contact precautions. Tip two, and this is super important, don't use antidiarrheals. In these patients, it can actually cause toxic megacolon, and this can lead to the colon actually rupturing. Become familiar with different names of antidiarrheals, so then if you do get a test question that asks you which medication to avoid in patients who have C. diff, you know which one to choose or not to choose, and that will be very helpful. Tip number three, these patients should have a single room. If you get a question on which patients can be put in a double room, you shouldn't put a C. diff patient in with another patient who doesn't have C. diff. That just makes sense, but that might be something you might come across for a test, um, whether it's NCLEX or just a regular nursing test. And finally, last but not least, tip number four. You need to know potential complications or problems that can come from C. diff. Particularly this list you see here, dehydration, electrolyte imbalances, skin breakdown, sepsis, and there are more. Obviously, as we mentioned before, the toxic megacolon as well. But it's important to be able to know these things and to be able to stay in tune with the assessment and physical exam findings that will tell you, alert you as a nurse to know that, hey, this patient, they need some kind of intervention or the on-call provider needs to be called. Do we need labs? Do we need IV fluids? Do we need to start different kind of antibiotics? It's important to know different signs and symptoms that may alert you to these different complications. That's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe to Med Made Easy YouTube channel and also thumbs up this video to show us that you want us to make more videos like this and stay tuned for more educational videos from Med Made Easy.